Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making crock pot homemade bread. All while having a whole lot of fun. Yummy homemade bread. So let's give it a try. Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and welcome back to my outdoor camper kitchen here at Camp Ludacris. Today we are going to be making a special treat. It is crock pot homemade bread. And so what you're going to need is one pack of active dry yeast. You're going to need a cup of warm water, three cups of flour. Oh, hang on. I got to turn my cook mode on on our recipe card so that my phone will stay lit up. Three cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, a third of a cup of sugar, a fourth of a cup of oil, and then if you want to use a tablespoon and a half of butter at the end to um, cover the top of the bread and pop it in the broiler and brown it up, you can do that too, but that's optional. So, okay, before I even came out here, um, actually, I tried to come out here and show you how I put the active yeast in. However, I dumped it in too quickly because I was afraid my water was going to get too cool and not activate the yeast. And so I dumped it in too quick and ended up with this globby mess. Just a second, I'm trying to scrape any that's clumped up on this side and get it all stirred in. And we're going to throw that out. Anyway, I went inside and that way I could take it straight out of the microwave. I could um, put it in slowly and not have to worry about where the temperature is at. Now your temperature for your water, you're going to want it between 115 and 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, this is the perfect temperature to activate your yeast. And so when you're pouring in your yeast, like I didn't measure it, but I would say I was, as I had a fork and I was just stirring the water. I was starting to maybe an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon at a time to make sure it doesn't clump up and make these glommy messes in here and it can all be out touching the water and getting activated. So I've already done that inside. Now we're going to take parchment paper and see if I can tear some up. I never can tear it right over here. Anybody else have that problem? Okay, and we are going to take it and push it down in our crock pot so that it's coming up the sides so that way your bread doesn't get stuck to your insert. Okay, so we've got that done. Now we're going to take our salt, sugar, and flour and mix it all together in this large bowl, okay? So that is... Um, dun, dun, dun. actually, you know what? I'm just going to take the top off of this thing. It is three cups of flour, and it doesn't have to be sifted, but I like to just kind of sprinkle it in instead of plopping it in. So just one. See, because it's trying to stick together on me. There we go. One. So I'm not sifting it, but I'm not just plopping it. Do you love my technical term there, plopping? Okay. Two. And three. Okay. All right, now we um, need a third of a cup of sugar. Oh, that's my fourth cup. That comes later. Oh, maybe if I can get it. There we go. Third of a cup of sugar and just sprinkle that in. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of salt. Okay. So now we're just going to get this all combined together. 
Oh, I forgot my cooking spray. Be right back. Wasn't that quick. So we're going to take just some cooking spray and we're going to spray our, um, our wooden spoon and we're going to pour this in, pour in our activated yeast and stir it in so that every part of it is getting a little bit of that yeast. So I'm going to get that mixed up and then I'll pour the rest in. So you're just going to do it very gradually. If you can't tell, my table is kind of on a slant because I'm camped on a hill and so my bowl keeps sliding towards me. Probably should have brought out a towel or something to put under it, but maybe next time. Okay. And the reason you um, want to lightly grease your spoon is you can see even with me lightly greasing it, it's still getting kind of gummed up a little bit. And that's going to happen. It's okay. But the oil just kind of helps a little bit to cut down on that just a little bit. Oh, forgot my oil. That would be helpful. So we're going to take a quarter cup of oil. I had olive oil here at the camper, so and we're going to be eating it with an um, Italian um, styled soup. So I thought that I would try this with um, extra virgin olive oil. So let's get that mixed in. Oh, this is going to be so good. Okay, now for the fun. Actually, I'm going to take off my ring. I'm going to take this and just pour a little bit into my hands and coat my hands all around. Ooh, look at that moisturizer. And clean off my spoon. And then I get to knead this for about five minutes. So here we go. Okay guys, so it hasn't been quite five minutes. It's probably been more like three or so, but if you can see, here, I'll bring it up. So you can see, it's it's smooth. It's not all, you know, pieces sticking out and that kind of thing, and it has elasticity to it. So we're gonna go ahead and form this into a ball. A nice loaf shaped ball. Actually, by me showing you that, it put some cracks in it, so I don't want cracky bread. I like crusty bread, but so we're going to make this into a nice little round loaf. As you will see, whenever we get done, it is not perfect by any means. Um, I'm trying to flatten it out a little bit so that the edges don't get done um, too quickly before the center but it's not like I'm flattening it out I just pushed it down so it's not quite so it's going to rise up but this way the center isn't doughy when the outside is burning okay so now we're going to take a paper towel and wipe my hands off and then we're going to take more paper towels ah oh, man that always happens to me I wanted two like full size sheets but I have the half ones and the fourth one just didn't want to come right. Okay so we're going to go ahead and stick those on top so that's what that's going to do is that's going to catch any moisture that goes onto the lid and not let it drop back down onto your bread. And then you're going to, you notice I'm not placing the lid straight on, I'm going to place it to the side like this so it's slightly askew so some of the moisture more of the moisture can escape but we still keep the heat heat in I mean I'm not putting it completely sideways just off to the side a little bit and I just remember that I forgot to preheat my crock pot when you do this turn your crock pot on high 
when it, before you even activate your yeast, okay? So that way it's nice and warm whenever your bread gets in there. All right, well, I'm just full of blenders today. Imagine that. So we will see you back. Um, we're, gonna co we're gonna cover it askewed and um, cook it on high for anywhere between an hour and 15 minutes and two hours. I'm going to turn my insert at the halfway point um, just so if there's any hot spots in the crock pot, then it's not just going to be cooking that one spot. And we'll be blah, 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 blah. we will be back in three, two, and we're back. And oh my goodness, this bread made my camper smell amazing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carefully grab my parchment paper and I'm going to place it on here. Now if you want to stop right here, you can. Let's see if we can get, ooh, it's sliding. Look at that yummy bread. However, I like a more crusty bread. And while this has like a good texture on the outside, I am going to take it and I'm going to top it with butter and then pop it in my broiler. Now at home, my broiler, it takes about a minute. I have never used my camper broiler, so we're, I'm going to watch it extremely closely. Unfortunately, there is not a viewing window on my broiler here in the camper, so it's it may take a little bit longer because I'm going to be opening up that door quite a bit to just make sure that I don't burn this beautiful bread. So let's put the butter on. Oh, okay. My table is really tilted. Everything's sliding. Um, hmm. Oh, I see why. It fell off the um, little thing. I had to try to make it more level. Hang on. Well, that helps. <laughs> now it's not tilted like this. Okay, so we're just going to take a little basting brush and put a little bit of butter on top. Now this brush is not as good as, or well, some people may like this kind of brush and they may have this exact brush and love it. However, I'm not a fan because my bristled brushes seem, oh lord, oh, the yellow jackets are after me again. I don't know if you saw, I think it was the strawberry shortcake one, like they were coming after me hardcore. Oh, he's landed on me. I'm just going to hold real still and pray that it doesn't sting me. Okay, I've almost got this whole thing buttered. There we go. Now I'm going to take this and put it in my broiler for about a minute just to brown up the top and make it a little crusty and we'll be back in three, two, and we're back again. And so it did take a little bit longer because I was opening this up about every 20 seconds and so that lets a lot of your heat out. Um, if I was doing this at home, it would have only taken me about a minute, but um, I watched not only the top but the bottom and just to make sure you know i could brown up the bottom and brown up the top a little bit but not burn it so this is what we ended up with and it looks and smells delicious now i'm sure some of you know how to cut bread better than i do but i'm really not that good with it and not very smart touching really hot bread bare hand okay i don't recommend that but I'm going to have to do it again. Okay, we're going to put it up on its side because, like I said, I am not a bread cutter connoisseur. Okay, there we go. Ooh, yummy, yummy. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to take a little bit of this butter and I'm going to put this up on its side and I'm going to coat it in just a little bit of that butter because what is better than bread and butter? Okay, we've got some traffic coming in. Sorry for the background noise. It's Mikey, Blaine Mikey. All right, guys. So you can see the nice lightly brown crust and then the bottom, oop, let me, I'm watching my hands and not the camera. 
so you got a darker browned up crust on the bottom and if you don't want to have the darker brown on the bottom just watch it and stop it before it gets that point I personally like it so that's just my preference but if you look in the middle it's just yummy homemade bread so let's give it a try it's barely burning my fingers now it should be fine for my mouth right Mm. I think dad's hungry mm. this is just an amazing moist homemade bread it's super simple to make anybody can make this you like you don't have to it's not like a super long recipe and so it's awesome you can even make this on a weeknight or you can make it on the weekend and just have it for the rest of the week um, we love this I hope you do too if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, my dad's pestering me again, guys. I'm sorry. If you have not joined our crock posse, then hit the subscribe button down below. And if you would like to know every single time we post a video, hit the little bell called the ding a -ling. And no matter what you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye. Ooh, can I grab it? Here they come. They love this stuff. Hot. Yes, hot. it is hot. hot. <laughs> is it yummy? Mm -hmm. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.